Hey everybody, I'm Dave. Welcome to the Cookie Reviews channel. Please like and subscribe to help a brother out. Today we're going to review the Joe Joy Lux Brake Caliper Press Tool. That's a tongue twister. I am not a mechanic, but I have grown up with motorcycles my whole life. And it's a very expensive life if you don't learn how to turn a basic wrench here and there. I needed to replace the brake pads on the girlfriend's Acura and my little Honda car. And I figured I'd buy this tool to try and make my life a little easier. Normally I just use a C-clamp, which works every time I've done this, except one of the um, pistons was kind of stuck, and I ended up bending the part where you apply pressure to the C-clamp. And this is where the joy joy comes in. Good lord, that word is hard to say. Initial inspection of the tool. I mean, I guess it's all right. I've had cheaper tools in my life, but... Uh, as long as it works, whatever. It's got a couple magnets that hold on the bigger plates on each side. The magnets aren't super strong. As you see, I can just lift it off with one hand, but um, as long as it does its job, I don't care. I'll save us all some time here because that's kind of what this channel is about. And I don't care if a tool is cheaply made or well made. As long as it does its job, then it's a good investment. This JoJoy is not worth the investment it's not a good investment <laughs> sorry i'm just remembering the frustration i went through doing this whole process yeah unfortunately the tool just doesn't get small enough to get into the rear caliper of the honda although it did fit just fine in the front calipers but at that point i was already defeated I boogied over to my local O'Reilly's and I bought this thing. I'm not even going to talk about this because I'm either wimpier than I thought or that caliper was a lot more stuck than I thought because my pipe cleaner arms could not get enough pressure to make this the piston move at all. So I did what I should have done in the first place and I just went to Home Depot and bought the biggest C-clamp that they sell and that solved the issue. Despite Home Depot denying me when I applied for the affiliate program, the thing was like 12 bucks. Uh, you know what? Better yet, just go to Harbor Freight. It's going to be cheaper there and probably better made. But I digress going off on a rant here. You already probably saw it coming, but, you know, red thumbs down. I really wanted to like this tool. I did. I tried. It just is not going to cut it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope this one helped. I'll see you in the next vid.